Hi there. Today, I want to talk about money and my attitude toward money. So I believe in the divine feminine principle of allowance and receiving and feeling and being. That is divine feminine. So for me, I like to think about what it is I desire, set my focus on what it is I desire and move toward that, listening to my intuition. However, I also like to have money in the bank so that when I just want something, I can just have it. Now, this is really important because in my opinion, you need both. You need to be able to allow the universe to bring things to you and you need to be able to know how to get what you need. And this is partially what we're working on in this group together, but also something that is mysterious for so many people. Now, most of us, particularly if you're in this group, you're probably very heart-centered you're probably very much in your divine feminine. And what that tends to mean is you might have some trouble manifesting monetary or financial resources, the, what you need in order to really do what you want. You might find yourself doing a lot of waiting for the universe to deliver you what it is you need, as opposed to just saying, hey, I want this $40,000 thing, I'm gonna go get that tomorrow. And this is not a fault or a criticism, it's kind of just your particular nature. And the thing is, and, 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 it, and, and it's a part of what you were taught and a part of what you believe. So it's partially mindset and it's partially training. So it was the way you were raised to not be able to do that because that's kind of the way we're raised, most of us in this world. We think that things come to us and money comes to us if we do things, it's conditional. Money comes to us if we do a certain thing. If we have an inheritance, we'll have money. If we get lucky and find money on the ground, then we'll have money. If we get the lottery, then we'll have money. If I work hard, then I'll have money. So these are conditions that bring in money. Now, we have a lot, a lot, and, and, and again, those conditions are established by how we are taught and we were taught and how things are perpetuated by the other people in society around us. And I wanna challenge that a little bit. And I also want to empower that, or I wanna empower you within that conditional structure. So, First and foremost, first and foremost, this world is not magical. It is real. And many of the realities of this world and how it works are hidden to us. So it's not that it's magic, it's that it's hidden because of our brains, because of our conditioning, and because of the way we're taught and also, we're here to kind of experience life living in the mystery and living in the illusion that we don't have access to all the mysteries, okay? So we're under the illusion, the impression that we don't have the mysteries, but that is not the truth. The truth is we actually have access to it all 
it's just below the level of our consciousness and we have a hard time seeing it and manifesting it. That's what manifesting means, to make something show up visibly, right? So if that's the truth, then all we have to really do is kind of really align ourselves with the things that we desire and we have to act as if those things are real because we know those things are real. The things we desire are already here. <sighs> it's been five minutes already. I have to stop. Look, these are the conversations. So I'm doing five minute conversations every day. This is a five minute conversation. That's five minutes, it's almost six minutes now. I gotta stop. I just gave you something to chew on, okay? I will be back tomorrow. We will finish this, this conversation. We will get deeper and deeper into this conversation. We're gonna be talking about this stuff. So for right now, just chew on what I just said. Sorry that I only have five minutes. Okay, bye for now.